Hi everyone, this is Bob for a new episode of Orenda Power. And yesterday, there was a real act of kindness shown by the gold barbs. It is fairly ironic to see that only a couple hours after the, uh, all the fish pretty much brutalized and eat the now dead Corridoras, uh, after the savagery of the aquarium, peace was back. And not only peace, but I've seen some actual hard work and um, teamwork coming from the gold barbs. And it just make, made me realize how smart and superior the gold barbs actually are. So, what happened is that I have fed uh, some algae wafers in the aquarium. And like most of the time, the goldfish were quick to uh, eat most of, of them. But one of the algae wafer uh, stumbled into the flower. Now, every Daniel were just wanting to try to eat it, but afraid to go uh, in there. Daniels are more of a hunter, so they, they don't like to pick at things, they just like to eat some really small uh, food item. So once all the, f the food on the floor was uh, getting eaten and st still by the goldfish, one of the uh, three younger uh, gold barbs, I believe it was um, well, we we just pretend it was yeah. Actually, it was this one. <laughs> really hard to distinguish the three of them. But this one um, was observing the Daniels, and he realized quite quickly that there was some food in the flower. Um, most of the fish, when they find food, they will just keep it for themselves, and the checkered barbs they will even fight their own kind to get as much food as possible. But the small uh, gold barb did something really surprising. So first of all, he was defending the food against the Danios. He was swimming and making the Danios go away. And he was bringing a lot of attention over the flower. Then I saw him literally go all over the aquarium and seek the attention of other member of the gold barb uh, clan. I was wondering uh, what was the purpose of this, but in my mind I knew exactly what he wanted to do. So he was trying to attract the attention of the other gold barbs and then returning and defending the piece of food and picking at it uh, a little bit. Eventually Charming, oops, no that's Ghost, <laughs> eventually Charming, who is the uh, dis fish right here, uh, followed the small uh, gold barb, and both were picking at the food, and they achieved to actually grab the food and drop it around here, so the other gold barbs could find the food more easily and eat it um, quicker than if it was in the flower. So to see that a gold barb actually help his brothers was and sisters or just his clan really was amazing to see another amazing thing to see with the gold barb is that um, contrary to all the other fish in the aquarium they don't compete for reproduction meaning that all the gold barbs just reproduce with all uh, whoever they want when they want to and there is no jealousy or competition. So to see how um, peaceful and how kind the gold barb is, is simply amazing. Especially when you compare them, for example, to the Daniels. You see that the Daniels are swimming together, right? But the Daniels always seem to chase each other and to try to find out who is the dominant one and who is the Omega. The Daniels are pretty much like uh, piranhas. 
meaning that they school together not because they like each other, but because it is a better strategy to survive. So they literally just school together to survive. And it's even worse with the checkered barbs. The checkered barbs uh, rarely regroup together as the gold barb do. The females and the males will actually chase each other all the time, trying to get the best territory. So all this makes me think that the gold barbs will eventually be um, the chief of the aquarium. Why? For several reasons. First of all, their uh, cooperation. They are really uh, looking like a family when I look at them. They are always kind to themselves and they never fin nip at each other's. They are always just swimming peacefully, just like my two goldfish do. Which is really strange, especially for small fish. Usually small fish will have a strong pecking order where um, everyone just eventually chase each other's. If we look at the Daniels, we will eventually see uh, this behavior. And it will not take too much time. Um, just wait for it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, basically, the uh, gold barbs weren't fighting for the food. They were actually helping each other. Which made me realize how um, powerful and smart the gold barbs are. Also, um, Taiwin, which is this uh, bigger female, used to be um, swimming around the Danios. I think uh, that fish got the strategy that uh, it is easier to pick up the food if you're closer to the surface. But, uh, and, I th and I thought he was doing so to uh, eventually outcompete all of the other fish uh, in his school and to then be the dominant female. But apparently it wasn't the case because now uh, I think she have actually uh, taught her strategy to another one of the gold barb, which was uh, the small male that have found the food. So basically by uh, doing this teamwork and kindness, the gold barbs are able to eventually overcome all the difficulties of this aquarium. And this is why I definitely want to keep them. Instead of uh, fighting for the survival of the inv individual and always competing against not only the other fish but uh, themselves, the gold barbs have learned that pride isn't the way um, to achieve the greatest things. They have learned that uh, it is actually by helping each other that in a group they can achieve much bigger thing and eventually this is why I think they will dominate the aquarium and I will help them do that. Um, as I said, if I ever choose to either remove some of the fish or if the fish get naturally removed <laughs> by the others, I'm definitely going to upgrade the school of the checker, uh, uh, sorry, of the gold pipes. And I'm not going to upgrade the school of the checkered pipes. I think I thought the checkered barb needed more fish to be more happy for their school. But they are just way too territorial compared to the gold barbs. The gold barbs literally um, benefic uh, benefit from a bigger school. While the checkered barbs, they don't benefit that much. They only uh, team up when it's convenient enough and then just break uh, their rank down to fight again once a common enemy has been broken but this isn't the case for the gold barbs so yes the gold barbs are um, the ultimate fish of this aquarium except obviously for the goldfish and I wonder actually if the gold barbs will ever uh, school with the goldfish because um, the gold barbs are actually pretty small uh, still they are just youngling they, I believe, will reach a full size of about 
8 to 10 centimeters. And when we compare that to our uh, uh, 12 and 13 um, centimeters long goldfish, it isn't that much of a big difference. Obviously, the goldfish will always be the bigger fish in the aquarium, but the gold barbs could potentially school with them. After all, the gold barbs have learned to school not only with uh, their own kind, but with other fish as well, for example, the checkered barbs and the danios. So let me know what you think uh, in the comment section. Do you prefer the brutal style of the checkered barbs, the hierarchy of the uh, danios, or do you prefer the um, overall teamwork of the gold barbs? I hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something today, and I will see you all real soon for the next one. Bye!